It's your turn, Leo. This is all about you. Leo, this is your oracle and tarot card reading for the week of October 24th through the 30th of 2019 or whenever you see the video. Whenever you see the video, the message is coming to you at the right time, I have no doubt. In fact, there are a lot of other week ahead videos that are in my week ahead playlist and they might pertain to you as well. So go scroll Scoop them up, Leo, because you never know when the message needs to come through. So, how you guys doing? Uh, this is the first week of Scorpio season. First full week of Scorpio season and last week of October. Guys, we are saying goodbye to, we've said goodbye to the spring and summer. We've said goodbye. We're even saying goodbye to fall. We're deep in it now. There's no turning back. So, Leo, come along with me on this journey and we're going to see... The general energies, uh, what's going on, mentality, emotions, conflict, challenges through the Oracle card reading. And then there's a link below for a Vimeo extended reading, which includes a full tarot card spread, which could add more, change the reading completely, but it usually adds more and extends and ex um, extrapolates upon this Oracle card reading. And it includes a romance specific reading. So like I said, that link is in the description box below. If you guys are on a platform that um, requires you to watch commercials, there's going to be one coming up in a couple seconds. Thank you ahead of time because that's actually a way for you to support the channel and I really appreciate it. So I will see you when we get back. Thank you so much for either surviving a commercial or an awkward pause. Please do hit subscribe below and ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is Monday through Friday between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm running, running business near New York. That's what I'm doing. That's, how, that's where I'm living. Um, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I do a daily tarot reading and then I also do question and answers toward the end of the hour. So if you want to hop on, Leo, please do. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, for October 24th through the 30th of 2019, what are the messages that are coming through? Something that Leo needs to know or needs to understand for October 24th. Uh, through the 29th of 2019, October 24th, through the 29th of 2019. Okay, um, we're actually just going to let those stay because I don't think they pertain to you. What did come out? The energies that are crowning your reading. Wow. Learn from the past. Learn from the past. And take time out. Um, I feel like so. This is the these are the energies that came out together that are crowning the reading, the general energy. Leo, to me, this tells me that you've been overworking yourself or exacerbating yourself, especially concerning things that you really don't have any control of. Now, you may feel like you should have control over them, but you really don't. And all you're doing is spinning your wheels. And it's saying, hey, when are you going to learn? Learn from the past because there's going to be a situation that comes up this week, Leo. A situation that comes up that's going to play upon your want to fix everything, make everything better, make everything beautiful, bring everything into the fold, bring everyone into the fold, but you can't necessarily do it. It's not something that you can change or fix. Or maybe this is saying that there is a different action you need to take because based on the past and based on your experiences with the past, you know, things didn't go well. In other words, you want to change the way things are. That's what you feel. There's a, there's a tremendous need for you to make things better and change a specific situation this week, Leo. But it's asking you this week to please take a step back. Please take a step back from thinking that you have that much control over the situation. Um, why? Well, we're going to get that in the cards. But I, I just have this feeling of... Trust things. I think that's what you really need to do this week is to trust, especially if you're dealing with people, especially if you're dealing with other human beings who have a part in making the decisions that they're making. Please sit back and trust that they'll make the right ones. You can't influence them. In fact, pushing them 
or pushing too hard on this specific subject matter is going to actually work against what you ultimately want, which I think is to build a closer, closer relationships or a, a tighter knit group or to bring things closer to you. There's a sense that you want to bring things like expand your pride, but bring them closer to you. Not necessarily for control, but for comfort, just so that you have your pride around you, just so that you have your 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 people around you you kind of want to build out that structure um, of your home now but there's an issue there's a caveat there's something that you really can't necessarily control about a specific group of people um you know i mean good situation hey stop she's so silly it's my new puppy and she's ripping apart a box it's just like a baby how they they're only interested in the empty brown boxes um, yeah, this is almost like, like, so, so pretend this is just an example, Leo, pretend that you were in a, a mixed, a mixed marriage, a mixed relationship where, you know, you had children and they had children, but they had children, you know, both your children are, you don't have children together. You have children from different partners and it's great and it's wonderful. It's almost like the Brady Bunch, right? But Carol and Mike had a good situation because both of their spouses were gone. I think they were either way out of the picture or they had passed away. This would be something like you can't control the fact that you may want your spouse or your significant other, you may want their kids to move in with you because you love them. But their other parent is not going to allow it because they want their children near them. And so if you push too hard on, the, on a subject matter like that, you could actually be hurting the relationship and hurting the relationship between you and your significant other, their, their parents, and also hurting the relationship between the um, custodial parent and the person that you live with and, and exacerbating a situation that isn't, isn't going to do very well for you. So what this is saying is, yes, it's good to express interest. It's good to express hope and it's good to express enthusiasm to say, listen, our doors are open anytime. You guys can come here and live here as much as you want. We love you. We love you. We love you. We miss you when you're not around, but that's where it has to stop. Just that encouraging love, encompassing them with emotions that you could share with them, but not, we're going to keep you here. We're, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to keep you here without asking the other parent. That could really mess things up for you. Do you understand? Now, this doesn't have to be your situation or your circumstance, Leo, but that's what I'm saying in terms of don't push too hard on this subject matter that is important to you because what you may end up doing by pushing too hard or by being in too insistent, because you know you have a powerful presence, right? Come on. Absolutely, you know. You have an extremely powerful presence and you can be very influential. And if you're going to be very influential on this subject, you have got to do it legally and you've got to do it strategically and you've got to do it gradually you cannot push too hard especially this week if you try to push too hard i promise you things are going to come back and snap you in the ass so there's something in the past that you probably should have learned from by now a situation that maybe you dealt with a scenario like like this in the past and now it's coming up again what what the energy and the message is, is remember that moment. Remember that time, because this is a little bit like that time where you can't push. You, you can't, if you push too hard, you're actually going to be pushing it away. So step back, learn from the past and take a step back. Just take time out. Just go easy, you know, go easy. Because if you go easy, that's what's actually going to help your case. It's going to help you and it's going to get you a lot closer. Hey, it's going to get you a lot closer to where you actually want to be. So just trust, have faith. I know, and I'm not saying do nothing, but I am saying it is essential for you Hey, what's the matter? I'm not saying do nothing. I'm saying it's essential that you don't push. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, that's perfect. Hold on. Hold on. 
So, you know, be supportive and be honest about what you feel, but don't take any moves that make decisions in places that you honestly don't have a right to make those decisions. That's what I'm saying. And it feels like because Mercury has gone into retrograde. And so I feel like this is a remembrance from the past and it's gone into retrograde in Scorpio season. So it feels like something old is coming up from the past, coming back to sort of not bite you, but to remind you, hey, remember how this worked against you in the past? This is a similar situation. Go easy here, learn from the past, show spirit that you've learned from the past, demonstrate that you've changed your decision-making process or how you take action. That's the, that's the feeling, the mentality that's crowning this reading. Um, let's go a little bit deeper. Surrender. Now, yeah, this is all about letting go, letting go of control, relinquishing control, and just living in the present time, going with the flow. It's almost like there's a real temptation here for you this week, Leo, to just moth to a flame, go right back and, and feel that fire, feel that burn, feel that passion, and go right to where you normally would which is taking the lead and assuming control and assuming that your decisions are correct and correct for everybody because they work for you. It doesn't mean this is, you're still edging on that edge. Just, this is a, an important reading and I'm glad you're here with me this week. You're at your, you're sort of skirting that edge of you're about to tip over. So I just feel like you're headed into a direction. There's going to be a huge temptation for you to go into a direction that you honestly, if you look back, you know won't work out for you. You know it. You know it. Know your worth. Don't try to be something that you're not. See the little skunk? See the little skunk? He's so cute. Right? And he's beautiful as he is. He's a perfect balance of black and white contrast, complete opposites. He's a perfect balance of those things. Right? And he is perfect in and of himself. And he doesn't need to be anything that he's not. So please don't to be too big for your britches or, or try to fit into a situation where you, where you really don't fit in. A circumstance or, um, yeah, a circumstance where you sort of have to pretend to be something that you're not. Because, because or taking on a role that you really shouldn't be taking on. Watch out for that. Also, watch out for anybody who would try to cast a stink upon you, right? Be warned. Be warned. Because that is definitely an option. Hmm. I mean, that is definitely a risk here, Leo. Just FYI. Hey. You okay? Yeah, you go, will you go pee pee? Oh, that's my, I'm sorry. She's, she's um, sniffing around and I really feel like she has to go to the bathroom. We gotta go. Hold on one second. Hold on. Oh, okay, surrender now. Know your worth. You know, this is a call also, I think, to somebody coming back from the past, like out of the dark, like a bat out of hell. Mm. A circumstance or a situation or a person that's re-emerging. That sort of took you for granted before, Leo. And you're not going to want to succumb to what what they're saying they need from you. Or it's almost like somebody is coming back saying that they've changed. Um, in addition to this other, to, you know, to this other message, it's like somebody's coming back saying that they've changed. And, and they really haven't. They've gotten a new perfume. Maybe they put new clothes on, but they haven't, hold on, they have not really changed. See the big picture. Yeah, keep that higher perspective and don't let somebody tag you down. Hold on. Yeah, you're definitely being asked to <laughs> hmm, take a bird's eye view from this circumstance because, Leo, because somebody may be trying to bait you. 
Yeah, it's like, it's like they know how you'll react. This is somebody that has experience with you. Yeah, so they know how you'll react. Or they know how you've reacted in the past. This is somebody that was involved in this situation that would remind you of the situation that you're in. And they would know how you would react. And they expect you to react in the same way. And I feel like re if you reacted in the same way, it would benefit them. <clears throat> and that's why they're almost trying to bait you. You know, they're being a real stinker. They're trying, they're, maybe they're pretending to be nice or maybe prodding you like in ways that they know that you'll react to. In other words, um, um, saying nice things about you even though you know that they don't mean it or kind of setting you up somehow. Um, and you can almost smell it even though they're covering it with kindness. They're, they're perfuming it. They're spraying it with perfume. You could tell that it's really still a skunk. It's really still a, a stinker. See the higher picture. See the bigger, see what's going on from above. Stay above this perspective. If this was... It's funny too because the seven of wands kept coming up over and over and over again in all of my readings with tarot. And I feel like this is it. You have to stand the higher ground and take the higher perspective, but take the higher point of view as well and see what's actually going on. Because you, in other words, you will be able to see it. If you can, the biggest beast you'll have to overcome is yourself this week. If you can quell that beast, like calm it down and not react the way that you did before, and I think the trigger and the understanding will be that you have dealt with this person before. It's, it's like this person and this circumstance that reminds you of that past event. It's not going to, it's, it's going to be, it's not, it's going to be too synchronicitous, synchronicitous. It's not going to be, um, like you'll know that those two things playing together, it's not an accident, it's not a coincidence. And you'll say, why is this playing out again? Like what's really going on here? What's really happening? And that would be a call for you to really like change your mind on how you react to things. Actually take a step back. That's what it was saying, take time out. Take a step back and kind of look over um, the entire situation, the situation as a whole, Leo. Yeah, so that you can really get that information, that uh, like that that full perspective, that aerial perspective that you really need, because there's something going on, maybe in the distance, maybe being kept from you. And I'm not saying it's trying like trying to get you, though it probably could harm you. I feel like it's trying. They're trying to bait you. Somebody is trying to bait you to lure you in like a moth to a flame and it's it's based on your hot temper it's based on your um ego on your big ego uh, uh, on, on people knowing that leo likes to be in charge or likes to be listened to or knowing that this is a sensitive topic for you because it's come up in the past and they're trying to bait you so leo watch out for that this week i'm going to draw a couple more cards as well Ooh, sometimes life stings Shit, something's really out to get you. Yeah, something's really out to get you. Something's out to basically um, sting you and, and, and suck on your blood. So I do, I do believe you really need to watch out. Watch out. Man. And I also think, honestly, that this is going to appear at first, like if you step back and take time out, it's going to appear like it's going to appear like it's the wrong choice to make. Yeah, like it's going to actually hurt your pride to have to. That's what sometimes life stings. That's what it means. It's going to hurt your pride. Your pride is going to take a hit this week in order for you to not get into or fall into the full-blown trap. Your pride is going to have to take a hit and they're going to expect that Leo, you're not, you're not going to want you're you're, you're not going to let your pride take a hit. That's what they're going to expect. And they're they're not going to expect that you can you can take the hit to your pride. You're not, they're not going to. They're betting on you not being able to resist the bait that they're setting, and they're betting on you flying into the circumstance gung ho with your ego blazing, um, wings unfurled, moth right into the flame. They're expecting that. Take the higher perspective. Look this over understand that yes your pride is going to take a hit and it's going to sting but overall leo that sting is worth the it the worth missing the trap that's being set 
And I don't think I don't think it's necessarily a trap to destroy you. I think it's a trap to just sort of lure you in. Maybe take more money from you. Maybe take uh, time from you. Maybe just make you look bad. Say, oh, see, this is how Leo really is. Don't you see? I warned you about that. I told you. And it really what they did was they set up a whole scenario so that you would react a way that you'd react in the past. You know, like, like using your past against you. Oh, and it's upside down. This is bison. The abundant universe will provide. You're going to take a real hit on this one. So this is in reverse. I, I really feel like you're on your own with this one. Like Leo, I really do. I feel like, hmm. Now, to me, this is like taking a hit in your finances. <gasps> no, 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 no. This is you taking a hit to your finances. Shit. Or it could be, no, it is. I feel like it's you taking a hit to your finances. That's what it is. They're expecting that you're going to blow up and explode. That's what they're expecting. Because they know that they're wrong and that you're right. And that they've manipulated the situation to kind of set you up to you, you, for you to take a loss. But they're setting it up so that you will overreact and explode. That's what they really want. That's what the situation is really, or it may be just universe testing you, you know, because brown bear is a shamanic card. So it's spirit being alive and present here. It's setting you up to see, all right, if we make Leo take this hit to their ego, how will they behave? Will they behave in the way that they have in the past? Explode all over the place, cause a big ruckus, cause a big fight exacerbate the situation or will they take the hit and i'm saying this week leo take the hit two 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 just came across the screen that is an angel message hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the cards excuse me what i meant to say was i'm gonna flip the camera so that you guys can see this full spread do you see? And then listen, Leo, a lot of cards are coming up reverse for all the other zodiac signs. We have a lot of reversals. And I think it's because we're living in the upside of down. You know, we're going into the underworld. We're sinking into Scorpio season and Mercury's there with us retrograding. So there's a lot of drudgery coming up from the past. And it may seem like this, I feel like this financial hit or this hit to your assets, it may seem like that's the loss. That's not the loss. The loss would be succumbing to exploding or erupting or, you know, basically sounding off your battle cry and going full force into this battle with these people or this person or even just this circumstance that's trying to bait you. That's the real setup here. In other words, even if it doesn't have anything to do with money, right? I'm saying that something is trying to set you up this week to react the reaction is what they want from you it is not the asset they're trying to take from you it's the reaction it's the and they expect an explosive reaction they expect a reaction that would make you look bad more cameras or attention is on you than you realize this week leah please understand that and take this reading as a warning. I'm going to go over to Vimeo and read full force. I want to know exactly who this person is, if it is a person at all. And I want to know the footfall, sort of the warning signs or benchmarks that you can do to avoid it. Or really just more encouragement and more advice as to, you know, um, how, how, to, how to avoid getting sucked in. I'm going to Pull a full tarot spread and also do your romance reading over on Vimeo. I will see you there.